Good morning, everybody. Well, I thought I'd uh, try something a little bit different uh, today. I just, first of all, I decided to uh, walk to work instead of ride my bike, so I'd have a little bit more time to chat with you. Well, I've been uh, uh, busy lately and uh, neglecting this channel a bit. I'm really sorry about that and busy with some other projects. And But I'm back. I have some uh, new videos up and uh, comments are coming in, and I felt really bad because I haven't been responding to comments lately. Ah, what a, what a bad guy. Uh, so, and I was, and then as, as little time as I have, I thought of a, an, a way that might be uh, fun to try and respond to comments. And um, what I would thought I'd do is, hey, I printed out, you know, the first day's worth of comments on uh, the, what, which video was that? Although the Japanese rice vending machine uh, video. And I thought I'd just go ahead and read some of them and the one, and uh, comment on them here. And uh, this might be kind of interesting because it might give me a chance to uh, explain a little more about what was going on in the video and... Uh, and interact more, a little more with you guys, and also help me with the t the budget of time, which is becoming more and more of a trouble. I mean, not a trouble, becoming more and more of a uh, a challenge because there's just so many hours in the day. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is the uh, Japanese rice vending machine. Uh, first comment that I got was uh, from uh, Oh my gosh, Marianne, who uh, thought she, she she said, "Wow, she never thought she'd see a rice vending machine." Neither did I. I was really surprised to see this thing the first time. Uh, Chris X Dumbass said, <laughs> I love that name. When the vending machine started talking, I thought someone came up behind you. So did I. I didn't realize that that was right there, and I was truly kind of startled. It was a little bit dark, and uh, and I was I kind of jumped a little bit. Uh, T-Bone, my old friend Doug, um, uh, basically says that uh, um, uh, $1.82 for, for a bottle of sweat. <laughs> yeah, that, that is a seems pretty steep for sweat, yeah, given that. You should try it. It's pretty sweet. It's much sweeter than stuff off your brow. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tommy Turntables 1 says, Rice from a vending machine, just like mom used to make. I love it. That's that's a precise sentiment there. Uh, let's see. Ter uh, the, the, the It's Maru says, um, I love how Japan is full of vending machines. You are so correct. I... Uh, before coming to Japan, I lived in Santa Barbara, California, where there are no vending machines that I remember. I, I believe that there were none in the city except in, in maybe at the bus station. And it was quite a contrast to see so many vending machines here in Japan. Um, I, GT, and forgive me if I say some of your names wrong. A lot of these names are very familiar to me. I've seen them for years on comments, but I have never pronounced them out loud. So I may struggle a little bit. I certainly recognize many of you, but I, like, for example, GT... P. Lover, I, I know you very well, but I can't say your name right. Uh, hi, Kurt, have you ever had a drink called uh, Gokuri? No, I, I never had that. You, he says, he or she says that they've had that for, um, and f forgive me, also, many of you, I know you, I know you, but I may not know your gender. Um, I'm such a dork. <laughs> no, I've never had that drink. I'll have to look out for it. <clears throat> Hippie6y says, that's a five ounce bottle for water, about twice the price I'd normally pay here in Poland. Hmm, yeah, wow, it is. Things are definitely expensive here in Japan. Everything is, boy. Uh, let's see, uh, Tom Wash, one, an older old friend, says uh, 150 yen is about one uh, pound 15 pence. Uh, Pokari Sweat isn't just water, it's a sports drink that contains potassium and sodium ions. Yes, exactly. There are a number of different sports drinks here in Japan. Very popular items. <clears throat> Black Cat 2005 says, the, what's the word for rice in Nihongo? The word for rice, well, there's two words. Um, excuse me, my friend Warmastrat did a video talking about, or a blog talking about this. And there's two words, there's gohan and kome. And uh, kome is the, is the stuff that you see in the field, and uh, in the bag that's been, you know, processed. It's basically the uncooked rice. Hey, I'm under a torii, check it out. <laughs> it's the, let's try this angle for a little bit. It's the unprocessed stuff, un uncooked stuff. And then gohan, is that a snake? Oh, it's water dripping from above, the birds. Gohan is the cooked stuff that you would eat. So, Gohan and Kome. And uh, I think there's interesting etymology with those words, but that escapes me. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mick and Fumi. Oh, Mick and Fumi, my old friend from Australia, says, Yeah, about a dollar eighty. I like the lemon vitamin water here if I'm not going for a beer. Are you ever not going for a beer? I can't imagine that. I'm not calling you a lush. I'm just saying that you're a man who likes beer and you know, you know your stuff. I'd love to see you and you in a video drinking vitamin water, Mick. Uh, Project Van Band says, uh, I use an automatic rice shelling machine. You must be in the industry, huh? That's pretty cool. Uh, Murdoch LC says, oh, that's 
Oh, so that's the kanji for rice. Tree with two more strokes. What the f? f <laughs> WTF. Now I know 46 kanji. Good for you. That's a lot more than I know. All right. Seriously, I'm not being, I'm not being, you know, sarcastic. Seriously, I don't know many. 109 My Tiger. Pokari Sweat and Aquarius are electrostatic, electrolytic water. Japanese call America Beikoku in news. It means rice country. They should call it bread country. I agree. Why the heck would they call America rice country? But if you grew up in California the way I did and saw the, the uh, endless uh, w uh, fields of rice in the, um, I think it's the Imperial Valley there. Maybe that's what they saw when they came up with that name. Uh, fan for Nintendo says, Pokari Sweat is too sweet. I prefer Aquarius. Yeah. You know, you have Coke and Pepsi in, uh, in, the, in the West, are the two big contenders for the cola world here in Japan for the uh, bottled sweat world, I mean the, the, the uh, sports drink world. It's uh, Pokari Sweat and Aquarius are the two big ones. I think Pokari Sweat is the, uh, is the Mike Tyson of energy or of, of bottled water drinks, sports energy thingy drinks. Um, FMM, FMM Smith says, the only thing I miss on your bike is a Tom Tom. You mean like one of those drum things? Tom Tom? Or the Tom Tom? I, I don't know what that is. What's a Tom Tom? Maybe I need to get one. And last we have uh, Patsy Bob, another old, uh, uh, somebody I recognize, an old friend from uh, way back. It says, uh, where I live, there's a farmer where you can go buy potatoes, eggs, apple pies from. It's pretty cool, but he lives about a mile and a half away. This is in uh, Britain. And he says it's not so common anymore. And by the way, 150 yen equals 1.1 in bridge. Very interesting. Isn't it cool when you live in a place where you can have that type of uh, uh, a local market system? I love it. Well, there you go. This is the, the first page of comments. I didn't respond to everybody. Some of you just made statements, you know, like, thanks for another great video, Kurt. And thank you. <laughs> Those kind of statements, I'll just, I'll just say, I'll accept them and say thank you back in general. Um, and mostly what I'll try to do with these in the future is I'll respond to those of you who... Uh, who maybe ask a direct question or bring up something that I should I should elaborate on. I'm going to try this for a while. So I'll post a video and then I'll let the comments build for a day or so and then I'll post another video with some response and maybe input. Maybe this will be fun. We'll see what happens. And I hope to have more videos out for you uh, coming up on the Softy Papa channel. And uh, from the uh, gate of uh, Inadi talking about rice, hey, this is what, how fitting could this be? Talking about a rice video and I'm in front of a shrine to the rice deity Inari, the uh, probably one of the most important deities in all of the Shinto pantheon. Inari is the deity of grains and particularly rice. And his, you can see his two guardian shrine dogs there. Yes, the Inari Kitsune foxes. So in front of the Inari Kitsune shrine, god of the rice harvest, talking about rice in Japan and automatic vending machines. Softy Papa signing off to go to work. Bye bye, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Remember, life's short. Have fun. Study hard. Have a great time. Bye bye.